Hi farm friends, Vicki here with the farm on Route 66. I am so excited to be back with you today and I'm gonna cook you guys up something in the kitchen that is delicious and super easy and you're gonna love. But first of all, I'm gonna go spend some time with Alan outside. He's home from work and the kids are at football and volleyball practice. So I'm gonna go spend some time outside with him and then I'll come back in the kitchen and make a quick, easy dinner for my family tonight. Black Beauty, salt and our new pepper that's pregnant, and Tolman. I'm down here with Alan just enjoying the day. It's gotten really cold this week, but today actually is a little nicer. So if you guys don't mind, remember to push the like button down below. It really, really helps us. And then hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, so you always get our video notifications. We really, really would appreciate it. And we just love to become your friends. So first of all, hit the like button. Oh, and comment, leave us a comment. Tell us where you're watching or what you're doing today or what your weather's like or what animal is your favorite or ask us a question, anything you want, but leave a comment for us, that sure helps us. So enjoy the farm with us for a little bit and then I'll head up to the house and make that one pot pasta dish that is so, so good. For singing with the donkey comment below do you want Alan to sing with the donkey <laughs> I think we have that on video I don't want to read I accidentally deleted it no way. yes I don't know what happened you're gonna have to do it this time no I'm not singing with the donkey time being outside with Alan and enjoying the farm this afternoon. It's gotten dark on us. Casey just got home from volleyball practice and Blake should be home from football anytime. So I have got to get dinner done. But this dinner is called, I'll read the exact name to you, it's called One Pot Cheesy Italian Pasta and Chicken. And it has turned into I think one of my family's favorites. Is it Alan? Yep. <laughs> But especially one of my favorites because it's something that I can put in one pot, cook it all together, get it done in about 15 minutes, and I have a wonderful dinner. So I'm going to tell you first what ingredients goes in it, and then I'll throw it together for you really quick. So spinach. I just buy a bag of spinach. But for all you homesteaders that can actually grow a garden unlike us, you could use your frozen spinach that you've put away. Um sun-dried tomatoes again i'm sure there's some of you comment below if you do your own sun-dried tomatoes let's see what else an onion chicken and i just cut it up into tiny little pieces 
It says one pound, but I actually don't measure. I just do what I feel like. Garlic, I didn't get my garlic out, so hold on. It says garlic cloves, which I am being lazy tonight and have my squeeze garlic right here. Linguini, one pound of linguini. Italian seasoning, pepper, salt, and crushed red pepper. And then we use chicken broth, and it calls for wine, but we don't drink alcohol, so I don't have wine in the house. So what we do is we do a half, it calls for one cup of wine. So I do a half a cup of water and half a cup of lemon juice, and I already actually mix that in here. And this four cups of water is for my chicken broth, and I'll just add that to my pot in a little bit. So I'll just throw it together for you really quick and easy. What I like to do is I actually like to put my linguine. Is that how you say it? I think so. <laughs> I like to put my linguine in first. Italian accent. Yeah. I just drop it in like that. And then I usually dump my chicken on top because I want all of that underneath my liquid. And then I'm going to pour in my four cups of water. Or you could use chicken broth, which I'm going to make my chicken broth with this. And then my half a cup of lemon juice and half a cup of wine, or sorry, half a cup of lemon juice and half a cup of water that makes up for my wine that I'm not going to use. Pour that in. I use a eight ounce bottle of sun-dried tomatoes with the oil. That is important. It won't come out. This is actually my family's least favorite part of this meal. But I like it, so I still add it. I think it actually adds some good flavor, even though most of us picked the tomatoes, tomatoes out. out. But Vicky likes them. Thank so. you. So. Um, six garlic cloves. And I actually just guess. I just, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, it's not coming out. It went. I know, but I need it a little bit more, I think. Okay, six garlic cloves, and you can use fresh garlic. I am being lazy tonight because I'm in a hurry. One teaspoon crushed red peppers. Where did my teaspoon go? Did you see I that? Don't... It's in my broth. Oh, there you go. Broth. And my family doesn't like it quite as spicy, so I actually only use a half. I guess she's half. She married a wimp when it comes to hot food. I married a gringo. He doesn't <laughs> like spice. And then two... My wife's spicy enough for me, so. <laughs> <laughs> two teaspoons Italian seasoning. I use all that. One, two. Let's see. Two I've never watched her make this. This is too easy. I thought I she like had slaved over it. I think you could even make it, honey. I two teaspoons nah, kosher salt. Two. And one teaspoon of pepper. So you'll just put the recipe in the comments? Pepper. Yeah. In the I'll description? Just put, yep. I'll just put the recipe down below so you guys can know all what's in it and how to make it. Call for one onion. I just really quickly peel it. You don't need to slice it really little, just chunks. So guess what? Blake just got word that he received the game ball for Friday night's game. What does that mean you get the game ball? So the coach considered him the player, the, of the, the game. player of the game and it was a really really tough game in fact this mom has been a little emotional this week because my son's been pretty darn sore but he loves it he told me quote Blake I don't mind being sore mom it, 
it feels so good because I love the game and I'm glad he loves the game, but pray for him this Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> so as I hold it, he's a been knife, <laughs> taking a beating for sure, but, but he's doing I'm super good. proud of him and I'm glad he got that game ball. It was well deserved. So, so anyways, back to my recipe, onions, you just chop them up. So you can have them big chunks like that? Yeah, big chunks, dump them in. And I want the onions to go underneath the water too, so I kind of just move it around. And then the last thing I put in is the spinach. And it says to just put in half the spinach at first. So I just grab some and put it in. And then what I'm gonna do is, you can see, just look what it looks like, we'll move it around. I'm actually gonna kind of push the chicken underneath the water. I wanna make sure that chicken cooks. And it always has for me, but I always make sure it goes underneath the water. So I am going to cover this, put this on the stove and get it to a full hard boil. I'm gonna boil it for nine minutes and then I'll show you what I do after that. So let me put it on the stove and we'll get going and I'll be right back. Let's let it get boiling and I'll time it for nine minutes once it's reached the full boil. And then you're going to be excited to see what it looks That's like. That's all it takes is nine minutes. Yeah, nine minutes. Man, I thought my wife had been ordering takeout from an Italian restaurant. <laughs> it is so good, you guys have to make it. It, <laughs> it is really so good, is good that I called my daughter that lives in Idaho and I said, okay, I want you to go to the store and buy all these things. I'll Venmo you money to buy it because I'm making you dinner. Well, actually I bought her dinner and then I made her make it, but I talked her through it and they love it too. So anyone I've made it for loves it. And to be honest, I got it from my neighbor who's an amazing cook. And so that's why it's such a good recipe. Anything that Lisa makes is good. That's for sure. She's <laughs> so a great cook. She's a great cook. So All right. I, I need to get more of her recipes, but so be back with me in just a few minutes so you can see what it looks like. So I have the timer set for nine minutes. It's been going for about a minute and I'll show you what it looks like when it's at the full boil that I want. That is what it looks like. See how all my chicken and my noodles are underneath? And I wanna show you what I do sometimes in the middle of this, hold on. I like to make sure my noodles are separated. So I just kind of move them around there a little bit, just like that. And I still keep them all the way under the water. And it looks like cooking. There's not a lot of liquid in there. In fact, it's gonna boil down to very little liquid. So let me cover it again and we'll wait for the time to go by. So nine minutes is done. I just take it off and kind of move it around. I like to work it a, a minute longer and just let it kind of keep cooking those noodles because I like my noodles a little softer. So I just keep working it around a little bit like that. And then I take it off the heat, right over there. What I'm gonna do next is add Parmesan cheese. I don't even know if I mentioned that as an ingredient, but you need six ounces of Parmesan cheese. And I just dump that in, mix it around. You can see how it just Our family loves melts. Parmesan cheese. And it makes, see there's not much liquid. You can see at the bottom, there's not much liquid left, but that Parmesan cheese with the remaining liquid makes a really nice cheese sauce on this pasta. And the seasonings are amazing. And then the last thing I do is add the remaining spinach. And sometimes I'm lazy and add the spinach all at the beginning. So it doesn't matter, but I'm following the exact recipe tonight. And I just mix it just like that. It's so good. I didn't realize there was vegetables in it. This is kind of <laughs> making me nervous that there's green stuff in this, but. Green and red, even though you take out the red. This 
mix it up like that. And I will cover it. Actually, let me, let me show you exactly what it looks like. That's what it looks like, just like that. And it really does taste awesome. It is. Those, the noodles are seasoned so well. I, I love this recipe. And it's so easy. Here, I've been going for about 15 minutes showing you how to cook it. And dinner is done. I'll serve it with a bread. Um, and it's good. I'm good to go. So I'm just going to cover it. Blake is on his way home. He was feeding some horses in town for us on his way home. And as soon as he gets home, we are eating dinner. Sound good, Casey? Yeah. So, thanks for watching, you guys. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, commenting, the notification bell, it really, really helps us. And we love to share our life with you guys. We love to share the farm, our recipes, our family. It's been fun to get to know people from all over the world. It's just been awesome. So if you try this recipe, comment how you like it in our yeah. comments below hey, hey congratulations who got the game ball I did. <laughs> pretty cool everyone signs it he so. loves his coach his coach is a good man and he's yeah. motivated him by tell him about it what do you what do they do for the game ball um so they started giving like out um awards or whatever to the um, player of the game which gets the game ball from that game and then they give defensive um, player of the game and offensive player of the game um, and those like awards kind of vary last week they actually got some of our hats and so it's kind of cool to see some of my teammates running around with the farm on route 66 hat on um, and then they even start doing practice player of the day and we get a candy bar at the end of practice if you've been like the best player that day so that's super cool. congratulations bud thank you so I cooked the one pot pasta Italian chicken recipe, whatever it's called. Is it one of your favorites? Yeah. <laughs> I just checking. So, okay, let's eat. Like and subscribe. Tell us when you make it. See you guys. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching.